So we live in a fast paced world where businesses are constantly seeking to stay competitive, engage customers, and most of all, streamline operations. We also live in a time where so much is possible with AI, and this is where ChatGPT comes into the picture. If you aren't aware, ChatGPT is a powerful natural language processing tool that can serve a variety of industries. While this video isn't really going to be going about how to use ChatGPT as I discuss the basics in another video, what we will do is talk about seven awesome applications for ChatGPT in business from customer service to content generation. So before we begin, subscribe to this channel so you can continue to get videos and content on how to navigate this digital ocean through AI tools, trends, tips, and tricks. So the first on the list is social media. There are millions of social media captions that are sent out to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok every single day. A lot of these captions are handwritten by the social media marketer, and this can take quite a lot of time, but there's great news. With ChatGPT, you can wave goodbye to manual writing and say hello to a world where relevant and captivating captions are just a few clicks away. Simply provide the AI with a few key details about your post, and within minutes, it can conjure up multiple unique and human-like captions for you to choose from. You can even tell it to write the caption in a tone that you'd like to convey. Even if you don't use the AI-generated captions exactly as is, it definitely still remains to save your time as a starting point. Platforms like Hootsuite's Owly Writer AI are just some of the existing tools out there that optimize your social media captions and can give you something to work with, leveraging ChatGPT in their backend. ChatGPT can also help with social media scheduling and brainstorming what types of content should really go up. For example, you can start off with prompts like, what type of content should I post to increase followers on Twitter? And what kind of visuals should I use to promote my business on Instagram? For the context of the video, I've made it quite general, but you would want to give a little bit more context of what kind of business you have to get a better answer. Next on this list is email management. A litmus survey found that 53% of brands spend weeks developing a single email. Now that's a whole lot of time all for a single email, but with ChatGPT, all of this time can be saved from creating email campaigns, writing email sequences, cold emails, and even A-B testing. You can leverage ChatGPT in several ways to help optimize everything about your whole email management and marketing. While I won't go into all of those ways into detail because I'll save that for another video, one of the straightforward ways is to help you write email sequences. So for example, you might be able to write, help me create a structure for a five email sequence that educates my subscribers about brain science. Now, besides that, ChatGPT can also create some persuasive email subject lines. Crafting clickable subject lines is not a simple task. The challenge lies in condensing an entire email campaign into 60 characters or less, causing stress and can actually take some time just for brainstorming. This is why using ChatGPT is so efficient because you just won't pump out one but multiple variations. The more it knows about your target persona, the more it can write in a single style that presents your brand voice. So for example, you might write, give me some persuasive subject lines from my first email, educating people on why brain science is changing our lives. Next on the list is content creation. For anyone who has worked with content, we know that it can be a long, arduous process. With ChatGPT, everything can be sped up as there are several types of content that can be generated with ChatGPT, including blog posts, articles, creative writing pieces. So all I have to do is give it a topic, and as long as the model has an understanding for it, or at least at the time of this video, any information before 2021, and it provides topics, outline structures, and even complete drafts. Gone are the days where you need to wait long extended hours just for a single editorial piece. With ChatGPT, you can create content efficiently and expand content marketing efforts as a whole. So for example, you might say, write me an SEO optimized article about why learning about AI is important in this day and age. Make sure to include keywords like artificial intelligence and AI in the modern day. And you can see it's generating stuff already. Such a TV also makes a great companion for balancing ideas off. It serves as a way to brainstorm about what topics to write about, what might be relevant for your brand, and more. Of course, you need to feed information about your business, brand, and messaging for it to understand first. But once it does, you can begin to ask it questions to help you come up with the content ideas. And just as mentioned about social media, you can set the tone as well. So just to help you get started, some useful prompts you might be able to write is what type of content would engage my target audience that is aged 45 to 50, wanting to learn more about the internet? Next on that list is product descriptions. Now, if ChatGPT can help tremendously with content creation, of course, 
it's no surprise that the next on the list is helping with product descriptions. Provided that you feed it the right information about your product, ChatGPT can serve as a very useful tool to generate compelling and persuasive product descriptions. You can give it information about the key features and benefits and teach it how to use your product. And in an instant, it can split out some content in a neatly wrapped paragraph. This can be extremely helpful for e-commerce brands as the speed of getting your products out on site is much faster. So for example, you might write, write a product description for a fishing rod and list out some features, benefits, and anything else that would help the product stand out. And see, as you can see here, it's already doing a great job of doing that. Obviously, I've made this a little bit more general, but if you provided the actual features and benefits, it can actually make it relevant to what you're actually selling. Then next on the list is market research. One of the most useful things that ChatGPT can help with is market research. ChatGPT is awesome for a starting stage when you want to get your brain rolling. You can ask it some pretty neat things such as to define your user persona or give you some examples of questions you can ask to do better market research. Some example prompts for market research can include what factors influence your purchasing decisions when buying a fishing rod? Or what are some preferred channels for discovering new products or services in the fishing space? Now, these types of problems make it so much easier to brainstorm about your company and target audience because there is a soundboard to bounce ideas off of. If you feed it the right data and information beforehand, as I mentioned earlier, you can definitely get it to sift through the tables of data and give some summary insights about the target audience as well. And customer service and support. Remember, ChatGPT is ultimately a natural language processing generative AI. You speak to it, it speaks back. So what this means is that you can leverage ChatGPT to respond back to customer inquiries and offer assistance in terms of responses. It can answer common questions, provide product information, and even give suggestions. Of course, just expecting ChatGPT to know everything is not enough. You need to first feed it the knowledge base of data about your company, about the inquiries that are coming in. So if you're a business with an e-commerce platform or just a local retailer, you really just need to do five steps. Number one, gather and pre-process data. Collect a lot of different examples of conversations between customers and assistants. Make sure that data is clean. Step two, train the model. Once you've collected enough data, teach the AI how to understand and respond to customer questions. With ChatGPT, simply start putting in examples that you've gathered, and it starts to learn from these examples and become smarter over time. Then step three, implement the chatbot. Once you have it all set up, all you really need to do is implement the chatbot but of course, just expecting ChatGPT to know everything is not enough. You need to first feed it the knowledge base of data about your company and about the inquiries that are coming in. As a business, once you've gathered and pre-processed your data, trained the model, or the model in this case being ChatGPT, and then you've begun to test and evaluate it, you can try to deploy your chatbot. Websites like customgpt.ai or BotPress are just a few of the several sites out there that help you create ChatGPT-based chatbots. Obviously, if you don't have the time or aren't able to create a chat by yourself, you can lean on existing platforms like Sendbird or other existing AI automation agencies. Now remember, ChatGPT isn't going to do everything for you. It isn't some magic formula that will completely replace workers. It is, however, a great assistant to your workload. Just remember, you should always definitely be as specific as possible. You can't expect ChatGPT to know everything about what you want. It's no different from a person you just met for the first time. Don't just ask who the target audience is for your industry without giving some context. If you want information about a particular product or service, specify what you're looking for. For example, their income level, their education, their gender, their location. Then make sure to have a back and forth. Using the meeting a new person analogy that I mentioned earlier, you need to think of ChatGPT as someone you're getting to know and is getting to know you. Take some time to have a back and forth conversation. Do not think about it as just something you give instructions to. Every conversation comes from a great back and forth. And through that, you get to understand more about what ChatGPT needs to know to help you get to where you want to go. Follow up consistently. Let each prompt build up on this one before. Take a look at this screenshot. The person here uses ChatGPT to expedite the fuzzy front end of customer research. And finally, do not rely fully on ChatGPT. I know I've been talking a lot about the best ways to use ChatGPT for your business, but ChatGPT, like I said earlier, is a great assistant. Let it assist you instead of doing everything for you. I personally find it to be a great tool to help at the very early stages of brainstorming, research, and all of that. 
Since ChatGPT doesn't take long to generate responses, you can quickly figure out what you want to do and then provide some sort of direction. And the more you add on to it, the further you can get to where you want to go. So if you liked videos like this, make sure to click on that playlist on the right where I give some tips on ChatGPT and prompts in general. And also make sure to subscribe to this channel so if you want to continue staying updated with the latest AI trends, tools, tips, and tricks to navigate this digital ocean.